Welcome to Hamilton Island. Morning everyone, we are in Hamilton Island, um, beautiful island in the Whitsundays in Queensland. And today there's a strong wind warning, so we are going to stay in the marina and actually um, do some exploring on land, which um, I'm pretty excited about. And boat shorts. Yeah, so while we're in the marina we have um, a lot of marina related things to do. Anyone who lives on board their boat will understand what we're talking about. Abundance of power and water means that we get to catch up on all the things that we've been putting off for a very long time. Um, primarily laundry and cleaning and provisioning and internet jobs. What else? I just, some bits, I just want to do some mechanical checks on the boat as well. Okay. Cool, yeah. all right, so we've got a big day. But first of all, before it gets too hot, we are gonna go for a hike. There's a lookout that we both really wanna go to um, and check out. So we've got our bags packed, we've got water, we've got shoes on, I've got my hat somewhere. Have you put sunscreen on? Yes. Nick's all organized, I'm, I'm the one running behind. Um, all right, so let's, um, let's, let's go. So what did your um, Apple Watch just um, like as we walked down the resort like two minutes later, what did it just leap up and tell you? Tell me that I'd already completed my exercise ring, we're going start this malarkey. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that didn't take much. What do you have your exercise ring set to? It must be like pretty low. No, control. it's set to like at least 24 miles a morning. <laughs> right, so we're here, end of Cat's Eye Beach and we're going to take the hike to Saddle Junction. And then, hopefully, to this lookout. Is that really going to be us? <laughs> I don't believe it somehow. I'm imagining like an isolated mountain peak with like a really lovely bar and a plunge pool and some like... Some masseurs. Ooh, there's a masseuse loose inside my hoose. It's only 1.7 kilometres. Not too bad. Specific. You know those alert things you get when nuclear power stations start to blow up? <laughs> <laughs> that breeze might not be so good for sailing or being out on the water, but it's bloody lovely for taking a hike. Nice refreshing breeze. Every now and again it's lovely. nearing the top now surely it's getting very very windy and uh, I feel like I've been climbing these steps for like an entire morning so 70 minutes we've been going yeah it certainly feels it but in a good way and some of these views that I can see through the trees are beautiful I can't wait to get to the top now it's crazy I think we're about to go around to the other side we're in the lower side of the uh, island at the moment and I think we're about to go around to the windward side, so yes, if, nice and calm here. So if ever you want an example of the lee of the land that we keep banging on around when we sail... <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> so this is the windward side. Obviously we have the full force of the wind and no relief. Oh my word, I'm, I feel like I'm about to get knocked over. My sunglasses feel like they're about to get blown off my head. Master Frodo, I can't go on. Don't worry, Sam. Are we uh, alright? 
Yep. Still going? Jesus. Yeah, I know. Alright. Let's do this. worth it. Beautiful views, extremely brisk up here, but it's lovely. It's really gorgeous. And now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Restoring. How's that? Yeah, exhilarating. Yeah. According to Apple, I've burnt four beers off. So no, that was an amazing, a really lovely hike. I kind of think, as I've said to you before, I'm never going to be a gym bunny again, but I do think that I probably could get into hiking a little bit more. I, I enjoy it. Yeah, it's rewarding. Yeah, you can actually feel the endorphins. Yeah. And yeah. now it's all downhill. Yeah, that was, um, that was lovely. I did enjoy that. I enjoyed that. It was a nice hike. Yeah. But now it's time to go back, get showered, get some work done on the boat after lunch. Yeah. So, and yeah, we, we need to also just get the boat all sorted out ready while to, we're in the marina. Yeah, ready to sail tomorrow. Yeah. Up and sailing in the morning. Yep. Okay. All right. All right, let's go. feeling very satisfied with ourselves. We did 7.5 kilometers. It took us two and a half hours, which is a pretty long time, but we have to, it takes us forever to do anything because we're always stopping to film. Like, it takes us twice as long to do anything when we're filming. Apparently the elevation was 286 meters. Apparently we climbed 68 flights of stairs. So Friday afternoon, we, we are sailing today, we're going to hike this morning, we've done some provisioning, we've filled the water tanks. One thing that I tend to do before we go sailing all the time is just go and look at stuff. Put the loose shackles, make sure everything's kind of like seized, especially shackles. Shackles tend to work their way loose. I use Manel wire for seizing shackles. There's no Manel wire on here. There are um, cable ties, zip ties. I hate using zip ties for seizing shackles and I, I'm, I'm probably going to get a hell of a lot of while I use them um, and therefore there's nothing wrong with them. Two reasons why I hate using zip ties to seizing shackles. Number one, they degrade pretty quickly and they will fail at the most inopportune moments and you won't notice them failing, they'll just won't be there and then your shackle, your shackle works its way loose. And the second thing is I think they're dangerous. I think the number of what happens is with a zip tie when you cut it, you create two pretty sharp edges and I have cut myself numerous times just moving along, you know, moving past one or catching one. What I've tended to do historically is actually take a, a flame-proof cigarette lighter and melt the ends to stop them from doing that. But I'd rather use Manel wire, which I can then bend through, bend back on itself using long nose pliers. But we don't have Manel wire here, so I do want to go and check all the shackles, things like the main sheet, um, main traveler. So I'll head up onto the coach roof and look at all that, make sure everything's tickety-boo. Then I want to just go and run some engine checks, check the bilges for water, make sure that there is nothing on this boat that I am not happy with. This properly seized. Like I, I think I love seeing stuff like this. I love when you find a yacht owner, this obviously is an old yacht, that has actually seized the shackle properly. So Manel wire folded back on itself. It's little things like this that I do think indicate how well a boat is looked after. There are little tickers that I always use when I'm trying to gauge whether or not a boat owner is a, a careful boat owner. Well seized shackles are one of those things. So Manel wire folded back on itself in two loops. And this, Pete, he's done a sterling job there. The other thing I look for is just the, the state of the engine bay and the state of the bilges. So I will go and check those. The bilges is just to make sure there's no water ingress. First thing you do find that you should do, and again, this is another tip. If you do find water in your bilge, um, as much as it sounds disgusting, dip your finger in it and lick it. And that will tell you whether it's salt or fresh. If it's salt, 
um, there's a different kind of set of procedures to run through than if it's fresh um, because if it's salt it's coming from the sea or your toilet if it's fresh water then you could have a leak in your water tank so again these shackles are seized two lots of manel wire Manel wire, by the way, is wire that is, I, can't, I don't know what the alloy is, someone will point, someone will comment down below as to what the actual alloy is, but it doesn't form a galvanic association with stainless steel, which means that you don't get galvanic corrosion between the two. But if you use a similar metals, you end up creating a battery. Salt water is a pretty fantastic electrolyte, so if you have dissimilar metals. So you need to have a, a metal that doesn't react with the metal it's bound to. These shackles will be 316, 318 stainless steel. And so, yeah, you've got a nice, you, you don't, you've got no galvanic corrosion. It's actually in good nick. It's in good nick. One thing that I did point out to the charter company was that I wasn't happy with the lower shroud tension. And they were like, this is the way it is. We've had it checked professionally. I mean, that, that's, there's far too much give in that rig. I think that um, my take on it is that the reason I do that is to detune the rig so that the, uh, these, these, these boats get a bit of a hammering, but if that were our boat, I'd have that lower shroud tightened and get a, you know, get a rigger to, to kind of like go and check it all. All I would say is that I don't own a catamaran, so I don't know what the rig tensions are, but we rule, work by a rule of thumb that, you know, average, the average pull with two fingers gives you an inch of movement and that's three inches. So yeah, I'm not happy with that. But again, I think it's a detuned rig for, because it's a charter boat, but you know, the, the boat's in really good nick. You know, super happy with it all. I guess the owners, I mean, we know the owner well. Pete's a lovely bloke and he keeps his boat in amazing condition. All right, the bill of lilja. Yeah, nothing in there to complain about. One thing Southerly never gave us, a bloody inspection panel on the, on the fuel tank. Lovely dry bilges. Drop it tomorrow. Everything else in there looks fine. Tidying this place up, it's a bit of a tip. Can you just tell everyone that I'm not sitting on my ass? I'm actually, well, why don't you edit I'm editing the video for this week. Yeah. Even when we're sailing and it is beautiful and we're in paradise, we still have to take time out to edit. You can show people that. Oh, pr proof. 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 I'm color grading. And you're doing a very good job, I'm sure. Boat needs tidying up, but first I need a cup of tea. Well everyone, I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode. I did. I did. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it. I had a great day. Did you have a great day? You're being facetious. I enjoyed it. Let me know if you did enjoy it and uh, if you reckon that hike was worth the views. I definitely think it was, even on this very windy and kind of poor visibility day. That that hike was great it was really fun and those views were awesome we also got some boat jobs done which is always satisfying so i hope that you guys liked the episode uh, comment down below let us know what you think and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss an episode i know that we keep on going on about subscribe subscribe please subscribe but it really 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 helps our channel um so yeah if you like us then then click that button and as always a very special thanks to our lovely patrons who make these unbiased and sponsor free episodes possible because without them this would be different kind sponsored of sponsored by spark plugs <laughs> we got an email for cleaning products yesterday yeah well that's they wanted to see we get emails all the time they mm. wanted us to have a six month contract 90 seconds per video um, advertising their cleaning products and the money's not too bad actually so thanks to our patrons we can say no to those things and you don't have to put up with 90 seconds of us talking about a cleaning product well, you should say that but when i'm looking to clean i, <laughs> I always go for harpo harpo cleans the unseen <laughs> cleans the unseen i'm gonna you know, well what sort of sponsor would you like all right here we go i think product placement for stuff like fireball or high quality <laughs> ale. <laughs> Sailing Ruby Rose, sponsored by Fireball. I'm moving the camera over here. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Thanks for watching. See you next week.